Get out of though. Now that's the valedictorian. And you have to look the part. Am I right, Lace? He looks pretty good to me. <clears throat> Takes after his father. Oh. <laughs> so you went home to change? Me? No. Oh, she looks great, Mom. Oh, well, yeah, I just thought such a serious occasion, you know, to dress that short. But you're lucky. Not every girl can pull it off. I gotta go get sad. Come on. Uh, we'll see you guys after. Mom hates me. No, she doesn't. She's just traditional. Is my dress really that short? <laughs> oh, babe. Look, unless it was trailing on the floor, she'd ask something to say about it. My sisters, they have one skirt they wear out the door and another one they put on at the bus stop. It's fine. You look great. But if she's that been out of shape about my dress, imagine what she'd say about us sleeping together. Well, let's keep calm it down, Mom. Your parents don't think I spent that night with my cousins. Um, we're not sure. It was a lot harder than we thought it was going to be. When we first made the decision, it felt like the right thing. At least for me. But I don't think we realized. Not until, you know, we thought that we lost her, but now having her back again. It's very real. I understand. It was just a lot harder than we thought to let her go. She has a face now and, and a personality. Marcy, hi. You look terrific. Thank you. How's Sophie doing? She's doing great. She's with Michael right now. I just wanted to come to see you graduate. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of the both of you, really. You've come so far. They're really terrific kids. Only you're not really kids anymore, are you, right? <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to say good luck. You guys okay? It's just weird. I mean, she was our teacher, and now she's raising our kid. So you're graduating today. I woke up this morning and realized that I'm going to be graduating next year. It's just crazy. You know, I think you should call her. Nah, no. My mom never picks up herself. Oh, um, I, I spoke to your mom earlier. Well, she was here? She was. So she left? She, believe me, she didn't want to. She um, had a camera. She was ready to take all sorts of pictures. Okay, well, where is she? She was served with a subpoena. A subpoena? For what? She has to testify in court. Uh, Star, I'm sure you know all about it. The custody hearing. Okay, how my dad did that? My dad gave Cole's mom a subpoena. Yeah. I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, right, whatever. You may have a seat, Ms. Saybrook. Are you upset? About being called here to testify today, Dr. Saybrook? Upset? I was served right before my son's graduation. Well, I just have one question for you, Dr. Saybrook, and then you'll be free to go. Are you involved in an intimate relationship with John McBain? Do you guys got what it takes to win? June 23rd, the summer phenomenon is back. Let's do it, baby. When you're on the lookout for the best talent around, uh, anyone can go from obscurity. Oh, thank you. Hi. One of the best bellies I've seen in a long time. To international superstar. Oh, thank you, baby. I think you're fabulous. Who will be the next worldwide sensation? You think I got talent? Yeah. The new season of America's Got Talent premieres June 23rd on A. When the chefs at Swiss Chalet make lunch, fresh salads, hearty soups, and garlic breadsticks, the only thing you'll still want is more. The bottomless lunch, all you can eat for $7.95. Family happens at Swiss Chalet.
everybody's excited about Leon's all-new Reveal Your Deal event. To celebrate our 100th birthday, just pick out everything you want and then peel to Reveal Your Deal. You'll save an extra 5 to 50% off our already low prices, even our sale prices. And you don't have to pay for 16 months. Leon's exciting new Reveal Your Deal event. Hurry in today. I see a Volvo, a Kia, a Hyundai, ooh, a Toyota, a Mazda. We're at Donnelly Used Autoplex to discover the Donnelly difference. And I think I found some. Leanne, you got a ton of cars here, all makes, all model. Over 400 in stock, and if we don't have it, we'll get it. Volkswagen. Got it. Honda. Got it. Pontiac. Got it. Lamborghini. We'll get it. 400 cars of all kinds in two locations and DonnellyAutoplex.ca. Donnelly Used Autoplex, Bank and Hut Club, and 417 at Terry Fox. I was really struggling with a tire iron, so I so went... So I convinced them to buy the Mastercraft Impact Adapter from Canadian Tire. It increases your drill's torque power by ten times. Perfect for jobs like changing tires and driving in the concrete. So how's it working out for you, Stan? Oh, it's great. I did the tires in half the amount of time, and I even hung yeah, the garden, garden hose. hose. Yes, you did. And you're welcome. The Mastercraft Impact Adapter, only at Canadian Tire. Hi, I'm Rob from Bush Tucker. Our staff of outdoor enthusiasts have the expertise to provide you with the best active lifestyle products and services available. Whether you're looking for quality road, hybrid, mountain or kid bikes, or the best in casual, athletic and adventure clothing and footwear, Bushtaka outfits you from head to toe. Come and see us today at Bushtaka. Bushtaka. When the chefs at Swiss Chalet make lunch, fresh salads, hearty soups, and garlic breadsticks, the only thing you'll still want is more. The bottomless lunch, all you can eat for $7.95. Family happens at Swiss Chalet. Monday, on the finale of Canada's Worst Handyman. One, two, three. The nominees assemble the ice hut they've been making. This is the side that's listening. This is the side that's not. When they finish off their rooms, someone is named Canada's worst handyman. Oh! Monday. Only on Discovery Channel. Thanks for watching A Morning. And I'd like to get you guys out for the dance floor. Oh, that's a good tear. Are you got the belt pulled? That a boy, Bill. I'm not going to go. Wait, oh, no, what? No! Oh, Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh. A morning, Ottawa's number one morning show. Married. Don't get up, gentlemen. To each other. Oh, we actually thought we'd pair off. You and Clint? Yeah, I'm Becky and Charlie. Charlie. I hope the bubbly water doesn't flatten your celebration. Well, you don't really need champagne, Dorian, when you're drunk on love. Here you are, Dr. Lord. Dorian, just one case? For now. Ha. Huh. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow night with Senor Montez. I've reserved the most romantic booths for you, as you requested. I'm sorry, but uh, we won't be able to make it. And with no one else waiting for a booth, it just leaves you and me, Renee. I can't think of a better way to spend the Saturday a song? night in a romantic booth. Can I call Beckman? Call the end of the song. Completed <laughs> June 12, 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Using the guitar chords. Have a subpoena so you could ask me questions about my personal life? This is just more of the same. Questions. Your Honor, counsel is trying to oh, using the guitar the Your Honor, if the witness is involved with the John McVeigh, it supports our contention seven, that his marriage is a fraud. This song is going to be called... Answer the question, Dr. Sabre. I'm questions about my personal life. I'm not involved in an intimate life. relationship with Mr. McVeigh. Can I go now, Your Honor? Mm -hmm. uh, Dr. Sabre, isn't it true that you just fled town with Mr. McVeigh? That you shared a motel room? John was falsely accused, and I've been threatened. We were trying to clear his name. And find the that? Killer. And yes, we did share a motel room together, and but we were not intimate. We thought it was safer that way. John's a married man. Questions and we're a very loving to one another. Give it up. And I don't know what else Those I could add to that. Two How about the truth, difficult. Dr. Sabra? A bit too difficult for Can me to do so fast. Can you honestly tell me that you aren't aware that John McBain's marriage is one of convenience? Um, F-sharp minor and b And I remind you, you are under oath, Dr. Sabra. Oh, there's 
intervening music here, so I'll, I'll wait. The song is going to be called Questions About My Personal Life. I'm going to go ahead anyway because the time is, is uh, going away. I have some. Questions about Welcome to my personal life. Of 2009. Well, I can't tell you much because I don't want to tell you right. And I haven't got enough time to sing this song. Time's almost up. I'm going to have to quit to quit right now. And then I'm going to have to shut up. Yeah. The valedictorian of the class of 2009, Geraldo Rivera, or as he's known to his friends in the film society, the Thespian Club, and the lacrosse team, 